that was fun. Solar assistant this morning said that my battery was at 12% state of charge after running all day yesterday. So I decided to switch back to the grid power so that I could recharge the batteries. And then I went, took my son to school, came back home, came down to the office and I start hearing this clicking. So I come down here and the inverters were erroring out and I logged in to look at my batteries and both battery packs had a single cell under voltage. And so they had triggered under voltage protection, which then triggered uh, a fault to be tripped in the inverters. So I ended up having to turn off the inverters and then determine which cell was under voltage so that I could get the under voltage protection to clear. And the cells were down to 2.5 volts. Uh, the rest of them were at 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, and each pack was balanced before putting in service, so I'm not quite sure why the individual cells were, were that low. But I had to change the settings on the inverters to turn the inverters off at 46 volts, which is a little higher than I wanted to, uh, but until I can figure out why the one cell is showing under voltage, it's going to be wise to try and keep everything above uh, 46 volts, which I really don't want to run it down that low anyways. Uh, once I get the grid hooked up, I'll have it switch back over at probably, I don't know, 48 volts, which I don't remember if I'm doing my math right, but it's around 3 volts per cell, so that should be fine. But then I had to go through the fun task of trying to pre-charge the capacitors, because when the undervoltage protection cleared on this bottom pack it would turn on and then I would get a overcurrent protection because of the capacitors trying to all charge back up uh, and it would I'd have to actually look and see what the settings are I want to say those are set at 100 amps so it's trying to draw more than 100 to charge the resist uh, the capacitors and I'm assuming that it's got something to do with uh, capacitors in here and in the inverters and I don't know if there's anything in here or not I don't think so but I could be wrong I haven't seen one opened up but between all those capacitors it uh, it tripped the overcurrent protection so right now until I figure out a better way uh, I need to get one of those push buttons set up so that I can just mount it to the side uh, down here so when I need to pre-charge I just press the push button um, to pre-charge everything now because these DC breakers isolate both the positive and the negative on the batteries I would probably have to put two push buttons in one for each line positive and negative because right now I have to jumper from the negative up to here I tried doing it down here and for some reason it still wasn't working um, I'm not sure quite why I might not just had a good contact down here because I was just using uh, alligator clip uh, but then I have to jumper from here up to this bus bar and then put my um, pre-charge resistor in line and then I just kind of tap it to the positive and until I stop seeing sparks then I know the capacitors are charged then I can flip the brake around so yeah I think I'll just end up having to order two little push buttons put them on the side and then basically daisy chain uh, from down here over to the push button and then up above on both but yeah, that was fun. So right now I'm working on clearing the under voltage protection on the top pack. And the inverters are not outputting anything right now, but they are charging from solar. 215 watts over here. 135 watts over here. 
always fun.